I got into Muay Thai, Thai boxing, when I was 13. Uh -huh. My mum took me and my brother down to Trojan in Heathtown, where we obviously met Kirk and Joby. I suffer from yeah. going off the rail syndrome, let's say. So I was always off the rails. My brother just wanted to do it anyway because our friends were doing it. So, yeah, I went down there. Didn't really stick to it. My brother did. And then I was more into going out. I was only 13, but I was drinking, I was smoking. I was doing lots of naughty things. Uh, and then I, I came back to it when I was 15 and uh, never looked back. Discipline was probably the main thing with Muay Thai because it, it stopped me from wanting to go out and drink, stopped me from wanting to go out and fight people on the streets and do silly things. It just totally changed my direction of where I was going. Um, so yeah, it was, it was the discipline that, that, that probably kept me, kept me in. Yeah. I definitely recommend it to parents. It's, it's a great sport, but I think it's, it's about the environment as well. Firewalk, where, where I'm based, um, it's the environment, it's the people around. Because you can go to gyms where the, there's, there's idiots, you know, there's, there's people who are doing all sorts and are just doing it just to make them, you know, out there on the street. Oh, he's a kickboxer, he's a tie boxer, he's a boxer, he's an MMA guy, but they're just doing it for the wrong reasons. So it's about the environment itself, it's about the gym that they, they send them to. K1's my main, my main uh, stand-up uh, fighting. I, I've, I've done Muay Thai once or twice, but because I'm short, it doesn't really go in my favour, so they just elbow me, split my head open, you know, kick me in my head, knee me in my face, so uh, K1's a lot better for me because I can move around. Because I'm a strong puncher as well, boxing scores as much as kicking and every other technique in K1, whereas in Muay Thai, Boxing doesn't really score, so K1's always been, you know, my preferred um, style. My favourite place would be Japan. Uh, it's great. They, they love, they love the sports. They love any kind of fighting sport, and they appreciate the fighters as a whole. I don't think you get that in a lot of places. They just want to see, they just want to see two people beating each other. They don't actually appreciate the sport and what. The fighters are going through whereas in Japan it's like you know pretty much silence in the arenas because they're so into it it's, it's amazing uh, in Japan it was I think it was about 5,000 but it was live throughout the world uh, the most I fought in front of is 12,000 in Milan um, but that was televised as well throughout the world so I, put, I mean, I only had three weeks to prepare for that. I thought I took a short notice world title fight. So it was just a matter of, I was already fit and it was just mentally. I don't think I went in mentally prepared because I'd never fought on such a big stage. It was the first time I was fighting abroad. It was the first time I was fighting for a world title. It was, um, it was the first time I was fighting in front of so many people. So preparation it was, was a difficult one. I, I don't think I, I actually prepared fully for it. But I'm, I'm totally in a different mindset now. I've, I've fought abroad a few times. I've fought on big international stages like that now. Career highlight. I've had a couple, to be fair. Uh, a couple of years ago, well, nearly three years ago now, I fought and won at the K1 Max UK, which was a massive, it was like a career changing time. I had three fights in one night where I fought the best in the country. And then in the final, it went extra round, so it just added to the tension, added to everything, it was great. I won that, and that's what led me on to fighting in Japan and fighting for world titles and whatnot. Fighting like one of their top guys, he was like a legend in there, in Japan, just because he's a tough guy who's fought all the top names. So to go and beat him on his home turf was just, just a dream. And I've always said that my dream was to fight in Japan. I'm never gonna go and visit Japan until I fight there. That, that would be the time where I, where I stepped foot in Japan and I did it and I won and it was, it was unbelievable. It's great because it's like a story. It's like if, you, if you're in the back and you're in the change rooms and you can actually see what's going on, it just tells this whole story. Like people getting injured, people 
for instance, in, in the first tournament, I knocked out my first guy. The second guy, it was very close, the fight was. I personally thought that I won. Um, but they gave the decision to the other guy, but he was too badly injured to carry on to the next round. So I was there ready to go home, took my wraps off, clothes were on, you know, just, just you know, feeling down. And then they've come back in and said, right, you, you gotta get changed again. You're going back out. And I'm like, what? Well, so I've had to get changed and uh, go out and do the business. I'm hoping that my promoter will get me a fight internationally, possibly China. Um, also, Bellator kickboxing has started, which is a massive thing for stand-up fighting, because Bellator is a huge name and they've started doing stand-up fighting, so I'd ideally like to get on that. Cheat meals. I don't believe in cheat meals because I have so many of them. <laughs> Every meal's a cheat meal. Nah, I, I do, um, if, I'm, if I'm eating properly, I don't need a cheat meal because I'm just eating good quality food, which I'm enjoying. Like obviously Kirk and Joby, my dad, but, but my main hero is my mum. I love my mum to bits. My mum's like just supported me in everything I do. She doesn't, like, I, I tend to do, and I have done bad things in the past, but she's never judged me. She's always just tried to guide me in the right way that she can. So my mum's my hero and that's, yeah, she's, she's like, she's, she's everything to me, so, yeah. <laughs> I can't get better training than where I'm at now. I'm not going to give up now, and, and like I say, I'm, I'm very stubborn, I won't give up.